Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. It is Team Ari, and how's everyone doing on this Sunday's edition? I'm doing very well. Don't forget, Wrestling Fanatics. Tonight is Dirty Hell in a Cell. The Red Hell in a Cell. I hate that version. Whatever, right? What can we do? Anyway, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Twitch and my own Facebook page. All the information will be down below. The article will be down below. Or the link will be down below. For crying out loud. Alrighty then. I'll discuss for you. Russian news. Russian topics. And a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like. Sit back. Relax. Put your feet up. Grab some meat. Grab some drink. Now if you're doing that. Maybe you want to look at the one. And hear my thoughts. My opinions. On the subject. And of course. The article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Let's roll this. Seth Rollins has been using the buckle bomb again, and as we report, though he has unbanned it from the list from, from banning moves. So what's your thoughts? You know, I remember a couple of years ago, they abandoned the tombstone, because I guess it was a... It was unsafe for the wrestlers. Okay. If these wrestlers want to do these kind of things. Maybe it's a better idea. They go to another wrestling promotion. You know. You know. I know that we want to keep it very, very PG. I understand that. But. I miss. Back in the day. In the, the 80s. The 90s. And even the Russian aggression era. This era. Absolutely sucks. Okay. Some things are good. Some things are horrible. Okay. Now speaking of the PG era. 11 years. 11 years to this day. Randy Orton John Cena. Iron Man match. That feud was. Was very very long. It went the distance. And I think in that match. John Cena won. I'm not a big fan of John Cena versus Randy Orton. That feud went way too long in 2009. I don't know why it went so long, but it did. Of course, both of them will be in the Hall of Fame. And I think that was a, a good match, but it went way too long with that feud. I'm so glad they're not doing it anymore. Because John Cena is doing Hollywood and making special appearances. He said he wants a Russell gun. But why? You have no more reason to come back. You know? I know he's young still. He's up there in age. I know you're going to say age does not matter. Uh, yes, it does. It really does matter for wrestling, okay? Okay? I know a lot of you don't like what I say. But it's enough is enough with John Cena, okay? Enough is enough with Randy Orton. Most likely, he's going to beat Drew McIntyre. There's no way in hell that Drew McIntyre is going to beat um, Randy Orton tonight in Hell in a Cell. You know, I like Drew McIntyre, but I think the only reason he's going to drop the belt tonight because W wants to give him a better uh, fan base. There's no fan base in these arenas. You know, you got these Virtual reality, you know, I think that's a stupid idea, but what can you do right now? I cannot wait to see a lot of fans in the audience. Whenever that's going to happen, it might happen 2021 or 2022, hopefully not that long. You know, I know a lot of you are looking forward to Mania. That's up in the air. I don't know if it's going to be in Vegas or the original home of this year in Orlando. I'm not Orlando, Tampa Bay. You know, it sucks what's going on around the world. Very, very depressing. So what's your thoughts on this, you know? What's the other wrestling moves that you wish that get unbanded? What is your favorite wrestling move, you know? Now, I know KO is doing a stunner. It does not look... It's not really fit his image. It looks very, very... Sorry to say this. Stupid, you know? And, of course, I think... Um, Steve Austin approved of it. With Kevin Owens... I think Kevin Owens needs his own finishing move. 
the par bomb was awesome. I don't know why he had to use the stunner. You know, just because Austin did it back in the day it does not mean that another wrestler needs to do it. I know a lot of like the super kicks, Dolph Ziggler does it. There's only one person who does it the best, in my opinion, is HBK. I don't give a crap who who did it before HBK or after HBK. Shawn Michaels did it the best. Okay. What's your thoughts on this? You guys give a crap about this article or the link? Everyone out there, have a good one, and I'll see you guys tonight at their Hell in a Cell. And don't worry, tomorrow will be my Hell in a Cell review if anyone wants to watch it. Peace out. Take care.